familiar right here in the First Hill neighborhood. The people tell us they knew this homeless man because he'd been sleeping around this area for quite a while, never had any problems with him. But police say the suspect stalked him and killed him for absolutely no reason. Seattle police allege this video shows Liam Krieger scoping out the area and making sure nobody could see him before moving in with an axe. The attack killed a homeless man who was sleeping in this doorway. The information alleges that on or about February 22nd of 2024 in King County, Washington, you committed the crime of murder in the first degree. Today, Krieger appeared in court. A judge ordered us not to film his face as he entered a plea of not guilty. The court will enter a plea of not guilty is what you heard on the lease. No, you're not. He read books at night. He just seemed like a person who was like down on, the, down on their luck. Robert Miller and his neighbors near the murder scene said the victim, Daravuth Vaughn, had been staying in the area for a while. For me, it's just like, why would someone do that? It, this gentleman was causing no issues at all, no problem. They, You didn't know them. Why would you just come up and murder someone? Court records show this is not the first time Krieger's been accused of a violent crime. He was charged with assault after he stabbed a friend multiple times in North Bend. That case was dismissed after Krieger pleaded guilty in mental health court in 2019. Home monitoring. Now Krieger is being held on a $5 million bail for a charge of first degree murder. Anytime that prosecutors ask for a $5 million bail, you've got to show a pretty good reason of why you think there's a danger. And we presented that to the court and we thought that was an appropriate bail amount. Prosecutors and police said they can't say yet if there's any connection to other unsolved homicides in Seattle. There's still ongoing work that's being done by the investigating agencies, and that's the case here. Now, police say Krieger told them that that was him in some of the photos and surveillance videos from the night of the murder. Court records also show that he lived in an apartment just up the street here in the First Hill neighborhood. Now, as for his previous issues in court, his parents previously told the court that he had threatened the family with an axe. At one point, his parents said that he was standing over their bed while they were asleep holding an axe and had previously attacked his own family. Very disturbing case here. Reporting live in First Hill, Jeremy Harris, Como News. Grant money is available to buy this equipment and police say they need help because gun crimes are on the rise. But this system has its controversies and there is a lot of community engagement to do before this hits the streets. The owner of Second Chance Antiques and Furniture has seen crime ebb and flow in his community and gun violence is one of his ongoing concerns. I do know a police officer that retired last year and he told me that that was part of his decision to retire is that there were just getting to be too many guns by the young kids. Police say gun crimes are on the rise. In the past five years, Everett has seen a 126% increase in shots fired calls and a 275% increase in drive-by shootings. To help, Everett has applied for a state grant to buy a gunfire detection system. Going after the, the gun part isn't going to do it. It's going after when they're being used. The technology uses sensors that can detect the sound of gunfire and pinpoint the location for police to respond. The police chief says the public will weigh in before any pilot project is launched. Wrapped around just about every action we're trying to take related to violence in our community right now is a desire and an effort to engage the community to be part of the solution. Seattle is also seeking a gunfire detection system, but critics point to studies that show mixed results on the technology's effectiveness in stopping crime. One of the staff at this Everett skateboard shop has his own reservations. I think there's got to be other ways. I feel like it's, I don't know, it's kind of invasive, kind of big brothers watching kind of thing. Everett has other violence diversion programs, but the gunfire detection system is seen as a key element of their overall public safety strategy. Yeah, I think they should look at it, and if it, and if it works, it works. Now this grant, it would provide $300,000, and it could run this gunfire detection program for about a year here in Everett. The recipients of the grant will be notified in the coming weeks. Reporting live, Joel Marino, Como News.